Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to convert your rows, row values like Chennai, Bangalore, Mumbai, Delhi into comma separated values. That is what we are going to see as part of this video. This is another video in the Power BI Tips and Tricks in Analytics with Nax channel. Let's begin. This channel contains a free content that covers Power BI, MS BI, SQL and Azure Data Factory. Please utilize this free content, share this channel with your friends and colleagues. Before going to uh, performing the actual task, what are the things I'm going to do as part of this video, I'm going to explain. So this is our source data and our ultimate aim is to convert into comma separated. Apart from that, I'm going to do other two other operations as well. Considering this location amount belongs to uh, each location and when you want to see the category, I want to sum up these values against the category and this is the category related amount. I should not sum up. I need to get only the single value if you see here. So all the three I'm going to perform. First one is comma separated and the location amount to be summed and this category amount should be not summed up it should be only one single value for this category if you see this is the category value so how to achieve it that's what we're going to see in this video let's begin so we have at this data set all these things comes under uh, group by basically uh, we want to group by this category and all other things also to be transformed so that answers uh, your um, uh, question how to convert but doing that requires certain steps let's try to do that so we have a group by go to advanced category first things first we will try to do this location amount and category amount as a sum as well as one single value how to do that let's make it as location amount and what is the operation i need to sum up and location amount add aggregation i want to do other thing this is category amount here i need to choose max that will give me one single value that is category amount now final thing I want to convert it right then for that I need to choose all rows okay once you choose all rows what is that location right let's make it as location temp because this column is not the final result and once you see this how it converted then you will realize there is no value you can choose because you are choosing the all rows here then click on OK. So I'm grouping by category and I'm converting each of these columns location to some category to maximum and this location I'm instead of that I'm not considering anything here. I will consider all rows right all rows to be uh, another column how this will be transformed. Let's try to see. Now these two values are fine that is location amount and category amount if you see here these two I achieved but I still does not achieve this result for this I need to do another step so first things are done I mean prime I mean basic things are done that is I summed up and this is the maximum that is a group a functionality how to convert the comma separated so I converted uh, by category as a table for all rows next thing I want to add a custom column this custom column I will name it as location uh, maybe I should say merged or comma separated whatever now you need to remember that location column right that column name that's okay uh, we know that column uh, we, I will walk you through the syntax the so, table dot column this is the function the bracket you see the syntax I need to choose the table and column max test so that this table is nothing but each row it this function is going to work so I'm passing this table which is nothing but uh, location temp and then 
the column if you remember right the column uh, of that particular table in the excel if you see the excel this is the column name right that you need to pass within the table what column you are getting it then press ok i get the list then we have the list next step is to click on this arrow mark extract values in this you choose the comma then we get the expected result that's it so this is what we need to uh, convert a particular um, rows into a column if you don't want this you can remove this then you get the desired result if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and if you are watching this video for the very first time in this channel do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon you will not miss out any of the new things that comes in power bi do remember that data is your asset